Hello, this is Joey Whitman Tutorials with my second tutorial on the HD Render Pipeline for Unity and this tutorial is going to go over the workflow from Substance Painter to the HD Render Pipeline. Now I'm sure you've already seen Unity's Book of the Dead demo for the HD Render Pipeline and you're thinking to yourself, how can I get that stunning visual quality in my Unity project using the HD Render Pipeline? Now this tutorial will teach you everything you need to know to get your substance materials to the HD Render Pipeline to achieve this stunning visual quality, assuming that you also have several years experience in computer graphics. Now all jokes aside, let's jump right into this tutorial. Now you just need to jump into Substance Painter where I'm going to assume you already have your model textured and ready to go. You just need to export the textures from Substance to get them into Unity. To do this, you're going to need to export your textures and create a new export preset which I'm going to name HD Render Pipeline. Now that you have this blank configuration you're going to need to create some output maps and for this tutorial I'm just going to be going over the very basics for PBR, the absolute essentials that you're going to need for almost every material from Substance Painter to Unity and if you want to add things like a detail mask you can. You're just going to need to create some extra user-defined channels in the texture set settings that you could then use to plug into the output channel. For example, the detail mask map that I'll be leaving blank in this tutorial, but you could easily create an extra channel that would then hold that data for you if you plan on using that map. Now for the HD render pipeline, you're going to want at least three maps, maybe four depending on whether or not you use the emission map, and to set that up, you're going to want to have a mask map that is going to be R plus G plus B plus A, an albedo map which is just RGB plus A, a normal map which is just RGB, and emission which is just RGB. Now to set this up you're going to want to plug the metallic input map into the R channel of your mask map. You're going to want to plug ambient occlusion into the G channel, the B channel which is would be for your detail mask map if you do end up creating that and the A channel is for glossiness or smoothness. Um, for your albedo map, you're going to want RGB as the base color and A as the opacity. And for your normal map, you're just going to have RGB of the normal OpenGL. And for the emission, same thing, just RGB of the emissive map. Now is a good time to note that you can also use tags to specify how your naming conventions are going to work for your textures as seen right here. Now it's time to jump over to Unity where you're going to import all your maps, import the mesh that you want to put them on, and then create a new material and assign it to that mesh. Now that you have that mesh in your scene with the material applied, you can start applying your textures to that material and if you're using a transparent material you are going to need to change the surface type to transparent and uncheck blend preserve specular lighting as I've seen that give me better results with the transparent regions um, and then you're going to put your albedo into your base color plus opacity input the mask map into the mask map input uh, the normal map into the normal map input and the emissive map into the emissive map input with whatever emissive multiplier that you want on that map. Now it's also important to note that you do need to turn the metallic multiplier up to 1 if your material does contain any metallic elements whatsoever. Now after that's all done, your material should be looking exactly as it's supposed to and as you can see my test material with different metallic and non-metallic parts and different roughnesses on them looks as I expect it to and it's very similar to how it does in Substance Painter. Now that's all I have for this tutorial, but if you have any questions, have any corrections, please tell me about them. I'll make sure to update them in the description. There will be a bunch of little stars at the top if there are any corrections to be made. Um, so check for that if you've already watched the video. Um, but also, if you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see me tackle, especially relating to the HD Render Pipeline as that is one of my main focuses right now. Don't be afraid to request that tutorial. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, liking, favoriting, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.